All right, so let's talk about corrosion for a second here. Um, I'm not a metal, metal urologist, metallologist, whatever. I don't know much about corrosion. Uh, I read about it for nine months. I've read the positives of priming. I've read the negatives of priming. I've read about people who've primed. I've read about people who haven't primed. I was torn. The kit I ended up buying was not primed. Now, the builder was very careful. He primed parts that were either not all cladded. My understanding of all clad is it's a pure aluminum. It's very corrosion resistant, but it's very soft and susceptible to scratches. Um, Anything can corrode, any condition can corrode, but the point is the builder was very careful to um, prime. He just used this self-etching primer, but he prepped the parts properly. Um, any of the parts that are like exposed or not all cladded. Now, again, please don't comment below and tell me I'm gonna die, my plane's gonna fall apart because I didn't prime. I, I don't need that. I mean, if you want to, go ahead, but I'm just gonna delete the comment and I'm not gonna read it. Um, if you have something educated to add, please add it, I'd love to know. But basically, just for the hell of it, I'm conducting a little primer test. Now my plan is to, after paint, for everyone out there, after paint, is to treat the inside of the airplane with like the Fog Corrosion X, which is like a really WD-40 type mist that you spray inside, you can Google it, and it, weeps into every hole and drips into every rivet and again I know it's gonna get everywhere and the plane's gonna be dirty and everything but that's my plan is once every couple years to do like a corrosion X treatment so I'm doing this test I took this was a practice kit I put a bunch of different types of rivets in here they're all the aluminum rivets and I self etch primed the middle I prepped it properly I cleaned it scuffed it cleaned it scuffed it cleaned it and then self etch prime it one side I believe yeah this side has WD-40 rubbed all over it in like two coats to simulate like Corrosion X. And this side had nothing. I just wiped it with a paper towel and it's been outside for four months. So nothing, that's fine. The nails that I used to screw into this to hold it on like a wood board have rusted. So that's gonna be interesting. But now there's something called galvanic or galvonic or gal whatever corrosion, which is when two different types of metal come in contact. Now, the reason that's important is these nut plates are steel. They are not aluminum. Now, this corrosion, my understanding is it will happen. And I have bolts outside that I um, uh, like to hold my hose up against the wall. I must have used like stainless steel mollies that I pounded into the brick and then like aluminum bolts or vice versa because those babies rusted like crazy. So this is real. Galvanic corrosion is real. Uh, it will happen. No question about it. So any place that a nut plate is riveted to the airplane, the previous builder and I have at least put down a coat of self-etching primer to create a barrier. Now this stuff is very uh, scratchable. It's not a two-part epoxy. It will scratch off. Um, but as long as we get these on there carefully and rivet them in, we should be fine. Now, there's some special stuff called Duralock, which um, I think you can, it's like a paste or like a cream that you put on and you could either use it wet to like, if you had to put like a stainless steel rivet through aluminum, you could install it wet and then it dries. Uh, or you can like coat it and allow it to dry like this. I've not used Duralock. If anyone's used it and it works great, please let me know. But for now, these Z plates, like for example, these Z brackets, which go into the tanks to hold it to the airplane, um, you'll see in a future video, I've just uh, final drilled for nut plates and um, machine countersunk, and then the nut plates go on the back. So I have cleaned and scuffed. I will clean and scuff one more time and then clean it, and I'm gonna just spray 
a very thin or a couple of coats of the self-etching primer just in the spot where the nut plates go and then attach them and hopefully I don't die because I didn't prime my airplane and then it fell apart in the sky and what a sad way for Ryan to end his life. The 182 that I fly is a 1977 182. It is not primed and it does not have any corrosion. I plan to take very good care of this airplane so I think we'll be okay. But again, as a test, I'm gonna go ahead and put a nut plate in each one of these three sections. Remember, there's the Corrosion X treatment, the primed and the non-primed. I'm gonna put a nut plate on them and stick this back outside just to see what happens out there. Uh, we'll check back on this periodically. It probably won't really matter for like five years, but if this starts to corrode in five years, then I've got a problem in the airplane, don't I? We'll, uh, if you have anything to add here, please let me know, but I just wanted to film this short video on prime. Oh, if you're super interested in should you prime or should you not prime, go to Vans Air Force net and look up primer wars or yeah primer wars and yeah good luck with that i've already been through all that so have a great one oh and by now i should have a patreon page so please go ahead if you don't mind um support the patreon page if you're thinking about ordering an aircraft from vans i get 100 bucks if you use my builder number i'll put the builder number in the comment below when you call them up or when you order just put my builder number on there that's awesome i get 100 dollars in credit and you get i think you no you don't get anything but it doesn't cost you anything more and I get a hundred bucks. So that's awesome. And if you want to support the channel, like I said, Patreon, a dollar a month, whatever, uh, would be awesome. But other than that, I'm just going to keep building here. We're going to get going more on the fuel tanks and we'll start pro sealing those in a couple weeks. I'm just getting everything test fit and ready to go. And for now, um, back to nut plates and priming and not priming and corrosion and all the other fun stuff. Have a great day. Bye-bye.